Hi. I'd like to tell you a little story, and um, I want you to imagine yourself as being the subject of the story. <clears throat> um, and if you don't mind, at the end of the story, pause the video and write in the comments how that story made you feel. And then I'm going to carry on with the second chapter, I guess you could say, of the story. When I get to the end of the second chapter, I'd like you to add to your comments how the second half of the story made you feel. And um, I'd be very curious to see your comments on that. Thanks. So, I want, uh, one day, you are uh, driving around and you are low on gas and you happen to uh, see a gas station. You've never been there before, uh, but you stop there and uh, you, you know, buy your gas and you use your, your card to pay for the gas at the pump. And you then you know, drive around and drive around and however long and uh, after a few days or a couple of days or whatever, <laughs> I don't know how much you drive, uh, <clears throat> you go to another gas station and uh, this one is one you're familiar with and um, you're not quite, you're, you're familiar with it and you notice that the, the scanner on the pump looks a little bit different than usual, uh, but you're not really sure if they changed them or anything like that and you know several days later you go to another gas station and you go to another uh, brand that you're familiar with and uh, you're checking your bank statements uh, several days after that and uh, you notice that there is a small charge on your card and you don't recognize it and uh, but you, but you think like, well, you know, I probably just forgot what it is. I'll check it out when I have some time. I'm a bit busy right now. <clears throat> and the next day you need to go and get gas. So you pull out your card and put it into the scanner at the pump and it's declined. And you were using a debit card. And you're like, well, what the heck? So you go inside, and you ask them to scan it at the, the, the cashier's place. And the, the cashier tries to help you, uh, but the card is, again, declined. And so you, you, you're very frustrated. Uh, you don't happen to have any cash on hand. So you go to another gas station, different brand, and the same thing happens. So finally you, you go home, get some cash, you come back and you fill up your, t your tank with uh, cash. So. Then, this is where I'd like you to pause and tell me how that would make you feel. Okay, so, after having that problem with your debit card, you contact your, uh, pr the provider of the card, and they let you know that your card was declined because there were, there was, there had been, I should say, a large, a, attempted a large transaction. And they had realized that it was probably fraudulent. And they had decided, okay, we're going to block this person. And you, of course, you know, you're relieved, but at the same time you're pissed off because they didn't bother to call you and let you know about the fraudulent transaction. And you say, you know, you're my financial institution that has this, you know, to g gave me this card, you should have called me right away and said, hey, did you make this purchase or were you trying to make this purchase or not? Um, and, you know, taking it from there. And they, so that, um, you, you're both happy and you're not happy. You're happy because um, you're, you're, the, the, the fraudulent transaction was caught um, and then you remember oh there's that little transaction that I didn't recognize and you ask them about it and they say oh yeah um, you ask them for information about it and you still have no idea what it is and you, then you say hey you know I think that one was a part of was like a a, a, um, a test 
uh, purchase by the scammer, uh, whoever scammed, uh, skinned, your, uh, skimmed your card, and uh, could you please contest that one? Um, and they say, okay. And the, on the other side, of course, you're unhappy because your card is declined, you gotta get a new card, and so on and so forth. You don't know how bad the damage is, um, or whether you'll get the money back from that test scam uh, purchase. So, I want you to pause and tell me how you feel. Okay, so I'm going to roll the story back a bit here. And in this part, of, um, I want to go back to before you call up your financial, financial institution and tell you that that debit card was actually a type of gas pay card. And you can get these from certain companies, like, for example, uh, well, I don't want to name any brands, but um, there are some gas uh, chains that provide these cards that draw directly from your bank account as a debit card to pay your bill. And they will give you, generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking, they will give you a discount. I, I've seen as much as 10 cents off a gallon um, if you use their card. Um, there are also third-party companies that partner with uh, gas companies to provide discounts. And the discounts can be anywhere from one cent. Uh, the most I think I've seen is 29 cents. Um, and uh, so, and like for example, Gas Buddy. So if you use the Gas Buddy card, you, the transaction is just like a debit, it takes money out of your bank account, but before it takes money out of your bank account, it subtracts the amount that was discounted from the total, and then just takes that modified total and subtracts that from your bank account, so you experience an immediate savings. <clears throat> Whereas opposed to get upside, you don't have a card, and you have to wait until the transaction is authorized, um, and if you if there's a problem where either you have like if you're using like a fleet card um, the transaction will not work right if you didn't put it in and what what fleet card you have defines how you have to in, give the um, get upside people your card and if it's wrong then it'll get rejected and then you have to go through the hassle of they'll say okay well, the transaction wasn't approved because we couldn't find your transaction. And so then you got to write it back and say, here's my receipt. And, and then they'll say, okay, give us a, few, a couple of days and we'll get back to you. And it'll take a lot more than a couple of days. And then eventually they'll come back to you. And if they're smart, they will have said, oh, you know, I, we noticed that the fleet card, that you're, that you're using a fleet card, make sure that you have entered it according to the instructions um, and give you the link to those instructions. And... I had to have I've had to do that several times, both before and after uh, I corrected how I had entered my card. I've had that problem um, with GetUpside, so I'm not really very keen on GetUpside. But anyways, getting back to using something like Gas Buddy or another uh, debit gas card, um, if the, the card is set up correctly, they restrict what the card can be used for, and at the point where the company notices a fraudulent transaction, they would reject it and the card would be declined. But the difference here is that there's this automatic protection on your gas debit card that will protect you from all non-gas transactions except for maybe like any other uh, opportunities that are offered by that company that are also where you pay using the card as well. Um, like say for example at the grocery store or at the, uh, a restaurant. Um, but I'm not, it depends on whether the, your, the company that you're, you've got the card from allows anything other than gas purchases. So this is an instance where a debit card of this, of this specifically of this type, not just a, a general debit card from a bank or uh, a credit union, but a gas 
debit card is superior in providing protection because number one, it's very restricted as to what kind of transactions are allowed and anything that doesn't meet that criteria. So if they don't recognize it as a pump transaction, it'll be stopped. If they don't recognize it as a gas purchase transaction at the pump, it'll stop. Um, and it'll be declined. So you have this automatic protection and that means that if somebody puts a skimmer on your favorite gas station's gas pumps and skims your card and your, your passcode, it's useless to them unless they want to buy just gas because of those restrictions. So that means you can't lose huge sums of money out of your bank account uh, because there's just no way for that particular type of card to be used for anything else. <clears throat> and so since one of the most common ways that uh, card numbers and uh, passcodes get skimmed is at the gas stations, I would strongly urge you to look into getting your own gas debit cards through whichever companies actually provide that. Um, and aside from Gas Buddy, the only other one I can think of that I'm aware of it would be uh, Circle K. Uh, not the best gas, but at least they provide that option. I'm not sure if they have the same restrictions on it that I've been talking about. You'd have to ask them. Uh, talk to customer service directly. Don't go to the gas station. They, they may not know. So just call up Circle K's customer service for their cards and say, hey, you know, do you restrict what the card can be used for? I probably do, but I don't know. So I just thought I'd share this little tip. Um, to let you know of a simple way to help protect yourself from card skimmers. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.